Hey guys, Tom Rollins here, and this week we're showing you how to shoot a wedding video. If you're a bride-to-be, then you'll see what our videos look like, but if you're looking to produce your own wedding video, then you'll see how we do it stage by stage. Now, I'm not going to go super in-depth with this. I'm just going to give you a general overview. There's some tips along the way. You'll see behind the scenes, and um, let's get into it. Today is Denise and Dave's wedding in beautiful Noosa. It's gorgeous sunny weather. I think this is where they are. And uh, we're gonna get a few shots of Denise getting ready. We're doing video today, all on the C300. Beautiful camera. That's all good, that's all cool. Um, they're just upstairs. And the first thing to shoot is the bridal parties getting ready. So mums, sisters, friends, and of course the bride. Hair and makeup, all that sort of thing. Maybe there's some music in the background. You really want to capture that vibe and um, how they're all feeling before the wedding. There might be a bit of tension, but I guess your job is also to help them relax and make sure they're enjoying themselves. Film the details, the dress, uh, maybe you can hang it in a special place, like a gum tree. When shooting video, I really like it to be backlit. Get really nice streaks of sunlight coming through the trees or the clouds, and uh, it can come up really nice. Let's have a look. You don't have to hang it on a tree. In fact, it could be a little bit dangerous so and risque, um, but whatever you're comfortable with, there's usually somewhere inside where you, where you can do that. I'm here with the wonderful and beautiful Yannicka Storm. We are shooting Denise and Dave's wedding. We're on our way to Dave to get the boys. They'll be suiting up. They're at the Sofitel. Yep. Is that right? And this in Hastings Street. I change your plans. The boys had to check out of their accommodation, so we've doubled back to where the girls are. But we're just going to get some shots of the boys next door under this beautiful teepee. Um, it's all set up, it's all looking brilliant, so we might as well make the most of it. Now it's important, just as a general rule of thumb when you're shooting, film wide and tight with everything. You're telling a story, and trust me, in the edit it's going to be a lot easier to piece together if you're shooting everything wide and then tight. Wide, tight, wide, tight, wide, tight. Okay, so we're on to the ceremony. Now, I like to have two cameras, one positioned at the back, locked off, which will be framed on the, put this away, will be framed on the uh, bride and groom, somewhere around there, picking up what they're saying, their vows, that sort of thing. And then the second camera is the roving camera, and in this case, it was me on the C300, and I was sort of roving around with that, picking up all those details, getting people in the crowd, getting wide shots, getting tight shots, and making sure I get those key moments, which are walking down the aisle, that first glance from, from the groom, that's always a special one. Go wide, go super wide, set the scene, see what we're looking at, um, get an idea of where the ceremony was placed, get the kiss, make sure you get that, and then make sure you get the walk off. It's a walk off, make sure you get it make sure you get them exiting the ceremony, that's always important. After the ceremony, you'll get a chance to charge the batteries, um, finish any cards off, swap over cards. And um, you know, there's no re need at that point to really rush the bride. She's um, you know, being congratulated, she just got married, they just got married. So it's, it's important that they just enjoy it at that point. One thing to look out for after the ceremony is the sun setting. Now this will depend on where you are in the world and. Uh, what time the ceremony was, but keep an eye on it. You don't want it to get too dark. Um, you want that golden hour of light, and that's when all the magic will happen. So, as you can see here, once that happened, we took them away to the location with the photographer. In this instance, we were very lucky that it was a mere 200 meters from where the ceremony was in their backyard. So, um, it was easy. And look, my style as a videographer is to let it flow, let the action happen and not direct too much. Direct where needed, but not too much. Um, the photographer in this case, Yannicka, is, is amazing. And you can just ride off the back of them. Just don't get in the way, keep your distance and grab all those shots that happen in between the direction of the photographer. Just let it un unfold and, and that's when you'll get those magic moments. You know, every now and then I jump in and I say, oh guys, can you walk over here or can you do this? But um, otherwise, let it flow, let it, let it happen.
Now we come to the reception. Um, people are starting to let their hair down, loosen up, smile, laugh, get all that. Make sure you're getting it. Um, it's important, you know, if you watch this wedding video back years to come, you want to really feel those emotions of what happened on the day. How are you feeling? So it's important you grab all those. Just keep your eyes open for those, those little moments. Maybe someone said something funny or tripped over or who knows. Get it. First dance, always important. Um, it's a special moment. Usually they start off by themselves and then everyone else will join in. Do your best to just um, capture all of that. There's cutting of the cake. There's all these little moments, every wedding's different, but just um, liaise with, with the MC and make sure they let you know before it all happens so um, you can get it. Thanks for watching Legends. Now again, that was just an overview, so if you've got any questions, please just leave them in the comments or send me a message and I'll be happy to get back to you. Um, if you want to see any other videos, just let me know. Any suggestions, welcome, and uh, I'll keep the good times rolling.